Very good morning, children. How are you all? Yes, hope you all are good. Yes, yes. Then, what do people are doing? Are you sending homework regularly, children? Is it? Yes, children. Before 8 p.m., you should send your homework regularly. Okay? Yes. After 8 p.m., we will not correct it. Okay? Then, no need to comply, ma'am. We already did it. Why are not correct it? No need to tell. Okay? We given one timings for you. Morning, anyway, before 12 o'clock, all video we are sending you. You have more time to complete your homework. Yes? Complete it and before 8 p.m. you should send your homework regularly. Okay? Yes. Hope you will do. Okay? Today we have computer science. Yes? Today we have computer science. Before going to the class, tell me today's date. Today is 23. We are the month of September. Here is 2021. The day is Thursday. Yes? Yes. We already completed our first lesson. Then we are going to start second lesson. More on keyboard. What is our second lesson? More on keyboard. Okay? About keyboard. Yes? Hope you know what is keyboard. Yes? In keyboard, how much keys have that keyboard? 104. Yes? 104. 104 keys in on that keyboards. Yes? That keyboards we have numerical keys, alphabetic keys. Yes, we have more functions keys. Yes, you learn? Yes. Okay. Then take out your computer textbook. Computer textbook lesson 2. More on keyboards. Yeah. Yes. Then we will see. Hello friends. I am back in grade 2. We learned about the keyboards. In grade 2 you learned about the keyboards. Yes, you learn? Do you remember? Yes. Then do you want to learn more about the keyboard and its keys? Let us start. In the previous lesson, we learned that we we learned we learned that we input data into the computer. It is done using a mouse or a keyboard. Yes, we learned about in previous lesson what we learned about input device, input processing, output. Yes, this and all we learned. It is done use, using a mouse or a keyboard. In this all processing, it will be we use mouse and mouse or a keyboard. Yes. Whenever we want to write in the computer, we use the keyboards. Whenever we want to write anything about the computer, we need keyboard. Yes, without keyboards, we are we can't able to write. Yes, we want to type no, we need keyboard. Okay. Let us do one. Let us see how much you know about the keyboard. Let us see how much you know about the keyboard. First one, circle the key, circle the key which is suitable, uh, which is suited directly to the right of the key, right side which key, O U L, <coughs> O U L G, yes, where it is right side in the key, circle the keys which is suitable directly to the rights of the key. Which one should then you want to circle right side? Yes, this side. Which one can be? O U L G. See children, circle the keys which is situated that is situated directly to the right of this key. This key only. Why? Can you see here? Why? In this Y key, where this Y C? Y, see here, can you see? This is the Y letter P. Yes, it is <coughs> directly right side which key it is coming. O, U, L, G. Which is, where it is? Y, you no? Know? Y. Which is it is coming? O letter. Yes, right side it is coming. O. Yes. Then circle O here. Okay. Then next step. Circle the key on which the given star symbol sits. Star symbol, where it is, which number key it will be. It 
seven, nine, eight, six. Which one is it? Yes, star. Yes, it is. It is in star symbol. It is. It is in the eight numbers. Yes, see circle eight number. See here eight. Already you learn in grade two. Yes, yes circle eight. Okay. Then next thing. We uh, we we will learn about the keyboard. It is different keys, types, and their function functions. Okay, we learn in this lesson about the keyboard, different keys, and their functions. Okay. Then next page, page number nine. The keyboard is the most basic input device. It is an input device. Keyboard is an input device. It is made up of many small button called keys. It is made up of more many buttons. Yes, that is the button. That we tell it is a keys. Okay. This button we will call keys. It always it also has to enter letters, numbers, and symbols into the computer. Yes, in this keyboard we have to enter. Letters, means alphabets, numbers, and symbols into the computer. The given image, <coughs> the given image shows a regular one or four keys in keyboard. In this keyboard, we have already I taught you to learn in grade two also. Yes, how much keys we have in this keyboard? One standard keyboard. Keyboard. It has one hundred and four, one hundred four keys. Okay, I'm sure that you should keep it in your mind. You see, can you see in your textbook, page number nine? See here. Okay. Yes. Then next year. <coughs> Do you know? Do you know? Uh, Christopher Latham shoes. Now eighteen ninety. Eighteen ninety, eighteen ninety to eighteen ninety. Okay, he is known as the father of the typewriter. Who is the father of the type typewriter? Is that he is the Christopher Latham Schulz. He is the father of the typewriter. First, it will be typewriter. Do you know, children? Did you see typing typewriter? Yes, before it will be that only. Then after only it will come computer keyboards and all. Yeah. Yes. Then, then next year there are various types of keys on the keyboard. Yes, I already told you there are various types of keys on the keyboard. In this keyboard we have various types of keys. <coughs> Alphabet keys, function keys, navigation keys. Then uh, function keys, punctuation keys. Modifier keys, special keys, toggle keys. Okay. Yes. How many keys we have in keyboard? Seven keys. Alphabetic, alphabetical. Sorry, alpha numeric key. First one, alpha numeric keys. Alpha. Numeric keys. First, the alpha numeric keys will tell alpha numeric. I will teach you. Okay. Then the keyboard, the keyboard layout is known as the Q W E R T Y. As as these are the first six letters in the first row of the letters. Yes, these are the main first letters. Q W C R. Q W E R T Y. These are the main letters in the keyboard. This is the first row. Okay, these first six letters are the main main in the keyboard in the first row. Let us have a look at some keys in the keypad section. Okay, we will see. First we have. Alpha numeric keys. We see what is alpha numeric keys. Okay. These keys refers to enter letter or numeric keys. Yes. These keys refers to enter letters or numbers keys. Okay. The number keys are located into place on the keyboard. See. Here also we can see one numerical numerical keys numbers keys. Okay. Yes. Then these are. These are 
they go down legs and to the right of the legs yes that is here also we have numbers key see can you see here also we have numbers key okay alpha numeric means this alphabet keys and numbers keys both should be written alpha numeric keys okay see here this all children here to here okay one two three four rows here to why this is the this here to here this is the alpha numeric keys And the same children here to here. Okay, numbers also will be included. Not only alphabet scheme, alpha numeral, numeral means numbers. Okay, and the same thing is then number numeric keypad. <coughs> What is numeric keypad? It is a group of keys located on the right side of the keyboard. It looks like a calculator. See this on the this are this is the Numeric keypad. This is a numeric keypad. Can you see? Yes. This one. Then it is look like a calculator. Yes. This is look like a calculator. Yes. It has a plus sign, minus sign, enter key, delete key, and number locks. Yes. It has a plus key, plus key, minus key, number locks key. Okay. Minus symbols. Or if you make this look like a calculator, then next we have functional function uh, punctuation keys. Okay, second one punctuation keys. Function keys. Okay, what is that punctuation keys? We will see. The punctuation keys are related to punctuations. These punctuations mark you know comma, full stop, yes, the open uh, open bracket, close bracket, yes, exclamation marks. These are the fun punctuation marks. Yes, these are the see comma, slash, colon, semicolon, and period keys. Okay, these are the you know comma and all in English and all you learn detail. Yes, you learn no need to explain. Comma, full stop, then column, slash, yes, yes, semicolon, yes. These are the punctuation marks. Yes, that is the punctuation keys. Also, we have, we have. Okay, yes. Then all of these keys have multiple uses, and these keys are uh, these punctuation. These are we are using the multiple uses. For example, the slash keys double as the question mark keys. Yes, the slash key double as the question mark keys. These and all are these or <coughs> we are using. Yes, is that yes? <coughs> the next thing here have see comma see here brackets. In your textbook, you have clearly you check it down. Okay, question mark slash colon semicolon. See here. Okay, this that is a function punctuation key. Then yes, two uh, two types of upper symbols. We need to press the key while holding the shift key. Yes, want to press the shift key and want to see, see this is a shift key. Want to press this shift key and you want to press you want to follow this you want to press like this and only it will be visible on the monitor. Okay, press shift key and you want to press. Okay, yes. press like this means it will not come. You want to press shift key and you want to press this also. Any which function key you want want to press. Okay, and then only it will be visible. Then next we have navigation key. Navigation keys. Yes. What is navigation keys? These keys are also known as cursor or arrow keys. That is the cursor arrow keys where it is. This is a navigation key arrow marks. Okay. The consists of four arrows. One is pointing out. 
pointing out one pointing down yes one is up or down left or right yes like the four four navigation is we have <coughs> one is up or down left or right okay yes one pointing right and one pointing left we can also change the positions of the cursor using the keys mentioned below page page up page down home hand home and you can see see in your textbook page number 10 here have navigation key zero marks okay <coughs> let's see do you know this key is called the windows key it opens the start menu of windows you can see windows key also this is the windows key okay this key is called the windows key it open the start menu of windows it open the start menu of windows okay yes then the next page page number 11 yes let us do to draw the draw the arrow keys and complete the sentence given below the keys are also called in this keys this keys we are also called the cursor or arrow keys see here children you want to draw and want to do see here you want to draw up down left right like that arrow marks you want to do okay see the, these keys are also called cursor or arrow keys write down cursor or arrow keys okay this i think today this much you have seen then okay yes then your homework what's your homework nothing see in your textbook page number 30 we have glossary this this you should write in your computer notebook how much is seven glossaries we have that you should write in your computer notebook that's your homework okay then read the lesson also then only you will come to know what are uh, what we learned today means about keyboard only we learned how much keys we learned alphabetic alpha numeric key function keys and navigation keys three Keys we learn today. Yes, yes. Alpha numeric key means the numbers keys and the alphabets. Yes, function key means the comma, inverted comma, question mark, set. These are the functions key. Navigation key means the zero marks. That is the navigation keys. Can yeah, understand it, children? Yes. Hope you can understand. Yes. Then I told you your homework also. Write in your computer notebook or glossary. Okay. Seven glossaries we have. You should write in your computer notebook. This is your homework. Okay. Then today, na we will meet you in the next class. Bye.